Introduction It is common knowledge that it requires a fusion of various elements into an organic whole to produce a piece of art. The blending of different colors and textures is what defines the aesthetic value and beauty of the piece of art. Without the inclusion of even one of these elements, the piece just doesn't look the same. If it is so in a mere piece of art, what is the effect of this principle in our living world? It was said by William Sloan Coffin Jr. that diversity may be the hardest thing for a society to live with and perhaps the most dangerous thing for a society to be without. A sense of acceptance and inclusion is very important in our world, not only to bloom into a better society, but to also avoid our own destruction. The very essence of our existence is our differences and our uniqueness. We need to understand that instead of arguing over these differences, we can use them for our own good and the good of others and in turn transform this world to a place beautified by unity and variety. Story Three cats lived in neighboring houses. They were close friends and used to meet to discuss much and common interests. One of them was white in color, another one was black, the third one was brown. One day, the black cat argued that his color was the best as he could hide in dim light and pound the prey without getting noticed. He added the white coat of his window was a terrible disadvantage in catching a prey in dim light. The white cat retorted that the white was a superior color as it is a combination of all colors and a symbol of purity. He added the black with the absence of any color. When the argument became uncontrollable, the brown cat intervened. He said, I will tell a story, listen carefully and then decide which is a better color. He narrated a novel story. Before the creation of cats, God made models of cats out of clay. Then he put them one by one in the fire to strengthen and harden them before instilling life into them. When he introduced the first model of the bonnets, he had no idea about the optimum time for hardening. He kept it for a long time and it got charred and over. This is how the black cat was created. He learned a lesson but brought the back model to life. All black cats are descendant. The next time, God was very conscious to avoid overheating, so he removed the model from the furnace a bit early to avoid overheating. The model was underborn on white in color. The white cat descended from him. Now God began proficient in art and science of hardening the model. So the third one was successful and the model was removed after correct heating. It was perfect and had a beautiful brown color. All brown cars, including me, are its descendant. We are heated and hardened correctly for the optimum time and temperature. Now you know who is the result of a perfect creation. The story amid the black and white cat, though they knew it was fictionous. They stopped the fight and became friends again, realizing the exterior appearance is insignificant and nobody wins by an argument. Man has fought thoughtlessly throughout human history, arguing about the superiority of one race over others. Men may differ in characteristics and qualities such as caliber, caste, character, charm, cognition, color, community, complexion, costume, courage, creed, culture and customs. But he is the roof and crown of creations and a noble work of God. We must appreciate unity in diversity and harmony in the right. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, a reading from the Holy Bible. John chapter 17 verse 23 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. I in them and you in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Let the world will know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Bear with one another and forgive another. If any of you have a grievance against another, forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in complete unity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you, God.
the King. A city of light to the nations, heirs to the promise are we. A people whose life is in Jesus, a nation together we sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes, that you may shower your abundant blessings upon them during this pandemic. Bless them so that they may continue to fulfill your mission and work towards the betterment of society all through their lives and during this pandemic. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we pray for all the countries around the world, especially our own. We pray for our leaders that they might take right decisions for the upliftment and welfare of our nation. Bestow on us peace and harmony and help us realize that there is beauty in our differences and that we are all one. For this we pray. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. During this time of suffering due to COVID-19 pandemic, we pray that the God's healing hand may rest upon those infected with the virus and also for those medical doctors, nurses and supporting staff who are in the front line of the fight against COVID-19. We pray that the good Lord sustain and inspire them to render their life-saving services with due care, love and compassion. We also pray that those who are infected by the virus remain under your loving care and protection. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, we are forever grateful for the gift of our families. Bless our families with health and strength as we go through these tough and trying times of our lives. Fill us with your love and strength and always keep us united through everything in life, we pray. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray. Prayer for unity in Jesus Christ. O oh, liberating God, you led your people from slavery to the promised land. Comfort in our generation. Those who suffer under conditions beyond their control, enable your people to embrace our diversity, to minister to the needs of all communities, and to seek unity in Christ our Lord. For this we pray, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. What if this light bulb was the cure to racism, sexism, and classism? Hear me out. Do you know what people and light bulbs have in common? We both express as different colors, have different shapes, different sizes, we're manufactured in different places. Some of us are bright, some dim, some clear, and some broken. We appear to be very different on the outside. But the thing about these lights is, there is one current running through each bulb. And in the same way, there is a singular energy running through each person on this planet. Doesn't matter what you look like, doesn't matter your race, gender, nationality, that's just the bulb. Inside of all that is who you really are. Energy. Don't believe your energy? Well, riddle me this. Say you have a friend named Jim, and you've been visiting Jim in the hospital. Until one day, Jim unfortunately dies on the operating table. 
you say, oh no, Jim died. But his body is still there, his race, his gender. But you say Jim died? Because you know deep down that Jim was a lot more than his body. He was the intelligent energy that gave life to his body. Energy is what we are. And energy has no color. It is not Republican nor Democrat, white or black. Energy is not Christian, Muslim, or atheist. Energy is, energy is. We are intelligent, creative, universal energy. And if we understood that, then we would finally know what wise men and women have been trying to tell us since the dawn of time, that we are one. Concluding prayer. Almighty God, through your Holy Spirit, you created unity in the midst of diversity. We acknowledge that human diversity is an expression of your manifold love for your creations. Give us a blessing so that our words and actions be one in unity and that we be able to listen to each other. In doing so, we shall with good heart walk hand in hand to face the future. We confess that in our brokenness as human beings, we turn diversity into a source of wounding, injustice and oppression. Empower us to recognize and celebrate differences as your great gift to the human family. Enable us to be the architects of understanding, of respect and love. Teach us to accept that unity is the gift of your spirit. Through this gift, change and transform us. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thought for the day. Strength lies in differences, not in similarities. Truth and love